welcome to my channel. I'm the Soul Teacher. I'm here today to do a very interesting um, reading for you. This is quite different. It's something that I haven't seen um, anywhere else, so this really intrigued me a lot. It's a, it's a general reading, but this is everything that you need to know about yourself at this moment, and it goes um, on your zodiac sign. So please, when you watch this, um, make sure that you realize that it's a general reading and um, you have to take what, what, what the cards say and how I interpret it and put it into your own life, into your own situation for you to get the maximum results of this reading. I must say I did this reading for myself and it was really, really, really powerful. Um, it kind of brought things out that I didn't necessarily realize was there. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very intrigued by this by these readings. I really hope that you enjoy them. Um, please comment below and tell me if you enjoyed them or not, and if you would like me to do this on a regular basis. If so, I will gladly do that. <clears throat> I I really felt that it was quite powerful and um, it was very um, informative, <laughs> if I can put it that like that. So. Let's see, Aries, what the cards have for you today. I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to call this reading, by the way. So, yeah, let's see. Okay. Now, um, also, what I want to say before I start, every zodiac sign has got its own questions and it's got its own layout. So, it's, it's really cool. The first question we ask is the card that describes you the best currently. The second one is how my energy affects other people. Third one, how can I improve my communication skills? For fourth question, what kind of challenge I should seek for growth? That's a very good one how this challenge this new challenge will change my current situation wow that's interesting how to be more present and in and set and to be satisfied in the now okay so that's what your layout looks like aries so let's start the card that describes you best at present the three of pentacles very interesting this card speaks about um working together about coming together into union with someone else. Um, I always see this, this card very differently on this in this specific deck, which is the Arcanum deck. Um, it, it, I always, I'm always reminded of something like a wedding. It isn't at all, this is not a wedding. But yeah, there you see the artist and he's busy painting on that window over there. And this man and woman is standing here at the bottom and they're not really participating, but they're, they're here. So there's always, this specific card in this deck always reminds me of union, of marriage, of it's it's strange, I know, but it might ring true for someone out there. But this card overall, the Three of Pentacles, um, means that you're working together with someone else, you're co-creating. This might also mean that you're co-creating with the universe, which is always a great thing to do. So this is this is where you're at at the moment, Aries. The next one is how is my energy affecting those around me? Six of Swords, that's quite beautiful. You are a calming influence to the people around you, Aries, which is for you specifically as Aries is quite a, a feat, hey? Because you're always so busy and you always run around and you're like, go, go, go. So you, your the, the effect of your energy is you help people go into calmer waters, which is really cool for me. How can you improve your communication skills? The Hierophant. This is interesting. Now, the Hierophant um, has got quite a few meanings. It can be um, higher love. It can be um, a higher commitment, as in your relationship going to the next level. Um, in, in the sense of communication skills, what I feel is the Hierophant also speaks of beliefs, um, religious beliefs specifically. So maybe what this card is trying to say by um, how you can improve your communication skills is by digging deep into your religious, spiritual, however you want to say it, um, or however in whatever energy you're at, 
um, digging deep into that, into the roots, into the absolute roots of who and what you are and speak from, from there. Um, authentic speaking, um, speaking the truth of yourself, of those around you, of the situation you're in. Um, that's what I feel on, in, in that card. Number four is what kind of challenge I should seek for growth. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, Knights are messengers. Um, they are messengers coming in to tell you there's something new coming. So, um, putting it into the, the, the um, position that it's at, how or what kind of challenge you should seek for growth, is maybe um, you should seek something new. Um, maybe, maybe you should... Try something new, something you've never tried before. Maybe something that you've always um, looked at and found interesting. And always had the thing of, hmm, I'd, I'd like to do this, but, you know, I can't because um, I have a job or this is not where the money lies or I have a family or whatever. Maybe this is now the time, Aries, to step into that role of doing something new, getting something, some new creative endeavor that, that might actually bring you in some money as well um i must say honestly that in the world all over the world at the moment um and i think this is the right time because everything is in such chaos when we look at the world around us it's that deep calling inside of us that says the world needs you right now um your spiritual gifts are needed and we've always been like we, we've always been holding back because that's not where the money lies. You need money to live from, to live of. You need money to survive. So lots of us never really um, took that as we can build a career and a life out of that because we need money to survive. And unfortunately, a lot of people go out from the perspective of this is a God-given gift that you have. How can you ask money for it? Um, because you need to live. This is the time in the world that everything changes. Everything in 2021 is all about change. So change of perspective and the world really needs your light right now. So maybe the world is actually waking up to the fact that, you know what, um, if, if I'm sick and I go to a doctor, I need to pay for him to, to actually heal me. Maybe I can pay an energy healer and get healed on the whole not just one thing so i don't know this is what's coming up for me um and that's what i feel that where you at maybe that's something that you would like to pursue or maybe something in the creative arts um that's something that the world need as well we need beautiful things to make the chaos around us a little bit more um in a way that we can actually handle it number five is how this new challenge will change my current situation the Four of Swords. This is a card of rest and rejuvenation. As you can see, this guy is meditating on this card. That's exactly what it is. It's going inwards. It's rejuvenating yourself energetically. And if you do something that you really, really love, that's exactly what happens. You get rejuvenated energetically. So this new challenge that you're setting out to do is going to rejuvenate your energy. That, that, I love that. And the last one, how to be more present and be satisfied in the now. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a very passionate person. Um, the fact that, that it's a queen, she's female, is it's not gender-based at all. In fact, it's um, we all have divine masculine and divine um, feminine inside of all of us. So what this card represents, the Queen of Wands, she's extremely passionate about what she's doing. And this chick is not just sitting there or standing there waiting for something to happen. She goes out and she, she takes what she wants. If she sets her mind on something, she goes and she does it. So that's, that's this is so apt for, for this position, um, how to be more present and be satisfied in the now, is now I'm suddenly reminded, I, I, I think in, your, in one of your moon readings, it might have said that um, it's time to take action. When are you really satisfied in the now? When you're in the now and you're physically doing something that you really want to do and that you've been wanting to do for quite some time, 
This is when you're satisfied in the now. So Aries, I, I really feel that whatever it is that you've been waiting on or that you've been trying to accomplish, I think that the time for this challenge is, is right now. So yeah, this that's the, the overall message that I get for, for you on this read. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see this readings on a more regular basis. I will see you soon, Aries. Love and light.